Hi everybody, Mr. Bowman here. In this video, we're focusing on the Achieve questions from the 2022 exam. Um, let's get straight into it. We're going to start off with question number 28. Um, and the question says, find the perimeter of the right angle triangle shown below. Fully simplify your expression. So I guess the key word is perimeter. Um, we find the perimeter by adding together all of the sides of whatever shape you're dealing with. Um, in this case, we've got a triangle, so we need to add together those three sides. Um, so let's start off with our perimeter will be equal to, it's going to be x minus 3, which is the first side, and we're then going to add 3x squared plus 5 Oh, plus 5x, nearly did a math error then, but I didn't, plus y, so that's gone. And then finally, plus the 2x minus 5, gone. So there's a few different ways you could do this, um, depending on which way you pick them. But I'm going to start off with like my x squareds, then my x's, then my y's, and then my numbers. Um, but you could have them in any order, and your, your answer would be perfectly fine. So x squared's easy because there's only one x squared there. So that's going to be 3x squared. So that there will be equal to 3x squared. So that there is simplified. Then going to deal with my x's. So I've got x, 5x, and 2x. They're all positive, so I'm adding them. So that's going to become 8x, so plus 8x. So the x's are gone. We've then got the y's. Um, again, nice and easy. There's only one y. So we're going to go plus y. And then finally, my numbers, negative 3 minus 5 gets me to negative 8. So that was this answer. Just a reminder, these here can be in any order. As long as you've got, got them positive and negative correct, that's all good. We are now moving on to question number 29. And this has a similar vibe to the question from the previous exam. We've got this messy algebraic expression, and we've been asked to substitute. So keyword there, substitute, you'll see it come up a lot in algebra. Um, so substitution. So let's start off by jotting down my expression. So my expression 4 plus 2 bracket 5x squared y minus z. Just a note, do not start by doing 4 plus 2. That's probably the most common issue we see. Um, that means you're doing bed mass wrong because this 2 is actually a times 2. There's an invisible time sign there. So we've got to do the bracket, then we've got to times by 2, then we've got to add by 4. So let's get into it. So the 4 is going to be unchanged, the 2 is going to be unchanged, and then we've got to figure out this mess that's going to be in the brackets. So that's going to be 5 times x squared. x squared is negative 2, so negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4, so that will be times 4. We've then got y, which is 2, so that's going to be times 2, and then we've got minus z, which is going to be minus 10. And we've got closed bracket. As I said, we do the bracket first, then we do the times 2, then we do the plus 4, um, following our bed mass there. So all this bracket, um, 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, minus 10 is 30. So that's going to be 4 plus 2 lots of 30. 2 times 30 is 64. Nope, that's 60. I think I got ahead of myself and said the answer. Um, and then finally, we're going to get to 64 when we add those together. Final question for this one. Only three achieved questions in most of these exams. The rectangle and square. So we've got the rectangle there. We've got the square there. Um, they have the same perimeter, um, so don't forget that word same, that's often giveaway for an equal sign, some kind of equation. Um, we've been asked to calculate what x is, so find the value of x. So let's start off with by thinking about this um, rectangle. Um, so the opposite side here, that's going to be 3x plus 2 as well, and so is this side here, we're going to be 2x minus 5. So the perimeter of that would be those four things all added together. So let's start off with that. So we're going to have 2x minus 3, which is the first one over here. We're going to add another 2x minus 3, which represents, or oh, I just realized I've written 3, but those are actually 5s, aren't they? Um, and then we've got the two lots of 3x plus 2. So we're going to go plus 3x plus 2, and then the same again. 
So let's see what all this comes to. Forgive my messy working, but we've got 2x. Another 2 makes 4x's. There's 7x's. And that there makes it 10. So all of that is going to become 10x. We then deal with the numbers. So we've got minus 5 and minus 5, which is minus 10. Plus 2 is minus 8. Plus another 2 is minus 6. So that's what the first one comes to. The square, a bit easier. All of the sides are going to be 6. So that means that comes to 24. So we know that 10x minus 6, that's going to be equal to 24. Because the perimeters are the same. Which is why we've used that equal sign. We're now going to go plus 6. So we're using our solving strategies here. So I'm going to have these cancelling. Which means 10x is equal to 30. I'm then going to go divide by 10 to cancel out that times 10. So x is equal to 3. So that wraps up another Achieved Focus video. Keep an eye out for the Merit and Excellence videos for the 2021-2022 exams. Hopefully they'll be coming out pretty soon.